You know, look, I, I want the FBI to conduct as uh, thorough an investigation as they possibly can within whatever restraints are imposed upon them. Um, but I think for anyone who believes there's such a thing as a judicial temperament and that we want judges, particularly those on our highest court, to approach issues, approach plaintiffs and defendants with um, a sense of fairness, that there's a lot to be concerned about. Look, I, I watched as much of her testimony as I could. I found her very credible. You have to ask yourself, why would anybody put themselves through this if they did not believe that they had important information uh, to convey to the Senate? She basically said that. She thought it was her civic duty. Uh, so I found, I found her presentation. I found her um, willingness to say, I don't remember that, but I remember this. Uh, to be uh, very convincing. So there is such a thing that you seek in judges of a judicious temperament. You know, people who are able to discipline themselves, to be open to the evidence wherever it might lead, uh, to be fair to all the litigants who are appearing uh, before them. You know, I'm a recovering lawyer. I used to practice uh, law, and I was in different kinds of courts. Uh, and this was quite unusual what we saw the other day, and certainly uh, the senators should on both sides of the aisle take that into account. When you are dealing with um, a political uh, entity like the modern Republican Party that is trying to win at all costs, it's hard to know quite how to get in there to have that conversation. Uh, and I think the best thing we can do is to take back the House and the Senate in November and then start having a conversation.